Hello, welcome to all students, parents, and all well wishers for this new YouTube channel called SciMath Videos Learn to Think. Dear friends and students, this is a YouTube channel created to share videos of science, mathematics. Basically, we all should learn to think. So, this can happen to this YouTube channel. So, I request all of you to subscribe and like all our coming up videos. So, basically, our first video from SciMath Videos Learn to Think channel will be on very important thing that is how to make mathematics easier. Yes, you all know, we all, when we were child or nowadays our children may be very weak at mathematics or they feel it's like very difficult. They feel uh, they do not like mathematics. This attitude is very wrong when it comes to the growing child or a high school kid or a primary kid. So we should make mathematics easier. But how to make it easier? Yes, friends. I have few important key points which while we follow, we make our children follow or if students are watching it, I request all of you to follow these key points so that mathematics becomes easier for all of us. So firstly, how to make mathematics easier? First of all, to make mathematics easier, we should first believe in ourselves. Nobody is a born genius. No, nobody is a born genius. But we have to become genius. A genius becomes through hard work, perseverance, by scientifically following a methodology. By this all methods, he becomes genius. Or any subject becomes easier to us when we understand and we learn things in a certain methodology. Here, I put forth two, two important key points. While we follow this, I'm 100% sure that Max will become easier to you very soon. So firstly, that is to know basics. Now, if a primary kid from 1 to 600, if his max is very weak, the first point I would like to suggest is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. These are the four things very clearly the child should know it. Should practice so much that is very clear with these concepts. At least four digits of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And you should know the concept of fractions in his mind. You should know how to solve decimals, how to add decimals. You should know various shapes. He should know how to use a protractor and how to use a scale. These things is a very important thing. If he understand these things, I'm sure Max would become easier to him in further classes. If your child, if this video is watched by a high school kid, for you, same thing. You should know addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, fraction, decimals, and few important shapes, various type of triangles. And you should also know the concept of graph, how to use the graph, scales, and minus into minus, plus into minus, or minus 3, minus 3, minus 2, plus 3, like and unlike terms, how to add, how to subtract. These are the very basics that any child should have. In further videos, please comment in the comment section. If any class student you want any video to make uh, to understand the basics of the lower classes, I will definitely make a video on that. Next important thing is basics. After basics is practice. Practice can only make anyone perfect, friends. There is no shortcut in mathematics. I'm going to tell you no shortcut. So always by just observing and just by hurting things, you're not going to excel in mathematics. So practice is the key. So if you don't have the habit of practicing, please start the habit of practicing. You start with just 10 minutes of practicing each day. Make it 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Take up to one hour a day. 
five days in a week. What topic you like? Start practicing with that. So I think this is very important thing when it comes to mathematics. Practice. Next, very important thing is real life observations. Observing things in our real life, there is so much of mathematics. We go to a shop, we purchase something. We should go to shop. Problem is we child, our child does not go to shop. Send them to shop. Children are watching this, go to shop. Oh, children who are watching this, go to shop. Purchase something. Transact. Then your parent would get a list of groceries to your home. Check what all things she has bought. Add it. Okay. Then you, you are going some, you go to, uh, you're going in a metro. Count the pillars. Observe something, add some numbers. So wherever possible, there are lots of real life observations that we can pick up next. Or shape, there are lots of shapes. When you're walking, when you're going in the street, lots of shapes. Observe them. This plays a very important uh, thing because when you learn thing, you can relate it to thing only when you observe what is there in the real life. This is a very important thing. Observe things. Next is important, listen well. Mathematics class, if you do not listen well, I'm sure you're not going to excel or it'll never be easy to you. Try to listen what teacher is saying. Try to listen. Next important thing, teach others. Yes. If you're a 600 kid, go to a second standard kid, teach him. Or your classmate, teach your classmate. When you teach someone, you will know your capacity. You will know what you are. If only you are understood the concept, you can teach anyone. If, it's, if you are not understood, you can't teach anyone. Even if you teach, you will be confused somewhere. Or you will make the other person confused. So my suggestion for you is, try to teach others. Teach your younger children, younger brother, sister. Teach others. That's how you can make your concepts stronger. Next, go through textbooks. Going through textbooks is very important. I'm not trying to solve all the problems that is in textbook. See the example problem. See what are the step by step they have done. If you don't understand, go back to your teachers. Just think on it. Okay, so textbook, you'll understand how they are solved step by step. That will add your ability to solve problems. Next. Make a formula book. It's very important. After every chapter, make keep a small book. It will not take more than five minutes for you, uh, students. After every chapter, make a formula book. Take down what all you understood, whatever the way you have understood. Write it down. I understood like this and like this. And these are the formulas. Write it down. So have your own small book for each chapter. Especially when you are an, a student going to write a 7 standard examination or 10 standard public examination. It's very important. Or you are in a college student, you know, you're going for competitive exams. These are very important. Next. So making the formula book is very important. And finally, the last thing, play games involving numbers. Yes. There are lots of games, friends, to play. There's something called a Sudoku. Yes. Try Sudoku. It's a very interesting game. Okay. There are lots of videos in the YouTube. See how to crack the Sudoku. Every paper, there is a small column for Sudoku. Try to solve Sudokus. Play chess. Yes, play chess. Chess will increase your ability uh, in the mathematics. Or oh, there are many other games. There are local games. There are many local games involving numbers you play. Or some children, they play hand cricket. Yeah, that is good. You play the hand cricket. You learn adding things. Okay, hand cricket. There are so many games. Uh, watch cricket. When you watch cricket, I'm sure you'll calculate. Okay. My player is uh, playing, what is his strike rate? So my, now we have 10 balls is remaining and he should 6 he runs. How it is possible? So for each uh, ball, how, should, how much runs he should, he should hit? While you think like this, the max will become easier, easier to you. You'll go with the max. So students and friends, these are the very important key points that will make max easier to you. And very sure you'll excel in mathematics. It may take time. It is not a one-day affair. Oh, I have, seen, I have seen all this today. Implement tomorrow, I'll become a math genius. It's impossible, friends. Day by day, adopt all these things. It is not a, I, I am not told anything which is very impractical. All are practical. You can handle this in everyday life. So try to follow this. I'm sure you're going to excel. 
try for a month and see i request all of you try this method for a month and please comment in the comment section what you felt about this friends i request all of you to kindly subscribe this channel sai math videos learn to think subscribe us like this video share this video among your friends and circles we are soon coming up with many videos i request all of you to kindly subscribe us thank you